you are pretending not to see him yet. You are also going towards the mirror. Then he silently locking the door from inside. He hugged you from behind. You watched Ada at first and slowly looked back to see his face, hiding your smile, trying to say something. While you were saying something, he kissed your lips without letting you know. Why? May I? Your face turned red like tomato. May I what? Too innocent? Smart. Let me see your face. He grabbed your shoulders and turned you around to face him. Do you really understand what I mean? Teasing. No. Hiding your smile, pushing him gently back. Please don't try to tease me. Yet. By the way, you are gorgeous, my love. He said the last sentence so deeply, which made you feel impressed with his look. Thank you. As he was coming towards you, your heart beat faster and your eyes blinked twice. I wanna do it with you, but if you don't like it, I won't do anything to you. Small smile. You could see he was upset. Hey, it's not what you think. It's not that I don't like it. I'm too shy. His face became red and he was excited. Gently held your hand and kissed your hand. Then he picked you up and carried you to the bed. The next day, you woke up and finished your routine and went downstairs to cook breakfast. There you saw the maid and she was very happy to see you and you hugged each other and talked a lot. She both cooked the breakfast in a few minutes and the maid called it there for breakfast. At the same time, the stepmother as arrived. The smile on your face disappeared and there was no expression on your face. Good morning. Good morning, mom. You look very tired. Didn't you sleep well last night, Vyan? I woke up early and cooked breakfast too. That's why I look tired to you. Hmm. Last night I wanted to introduce to you an important person. While you were looking at her confusingly, she called her son there. Her son was handsome to look at, well dressed and stylish like Ty. As you look at him, he sees you and mesmerized by your beauty at a once. Vyan, he's your brother in law, Dean, pointing at him. Hello, sister in law. He was about to hug you, but you quickly stepped back and hugged Ty's arm. Hey, what happened? Dean, she is nervous. Take it like, chuckle. Vyan, say hi to him. Hi. He looked at you from head to toe and noticed your facial expressions. They pulled the chair back for you to sit. You are sitting in the chair. They is sitting in the chair to your right and Dean is sitting in the chair to your left. Dean says something to you while everyone is eating. To be honest, the breakfast is very tasty. Vyan made it. I see. He looked at you and smiled. The food you cook is very tasty, just like you. They smiled at his compliment. Thank you. The hell? Meaningless compliment. Dean touched my luck, maybe by mistake. But no. This time he did it again while looking at me. He touched my hand a little and that's when my husband puts his hand on my shoulder and makes me look at him. Baby, you haven't eaten your breakfast yet. You snapped out of your thoughts, huh? Eat quickly before it gets cold. She isn't a child. Don't worry. He smiled. Now your wife is here and you have to focus on your office matter. Here yeah, bro, I'm tired of working non-stop. I can't take it anymore. I also want you to take responsibilities again. Okay bro, looked at you. I have to focus on my work again. Smile. I can understand that you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. He patted you on the head and cute way he left for office. Kim Wyan? Where have you been for a year? For why? Answer the question politely. Don't you know how to respect others? He placed his hand on your hand and wrapping it. You immediately pushed his hand away from you as you felt disgust. Mr. Dean, don't you know how to polite to your brother's wife? 
when you are talking out of limits seriously if possible please both of you learn from my husband how to be polite to anyone she told them disgustingly and went to your room dean was about to get up and leave and his mom grabbed his hand dean this is the time to show your anger control yourself dear mom i don't like her attitude i also don't want her to show it on us he is gritting his teeth i don't like it either how will it take for you to return it will take a uh, a week for me to come back ho oh. his forehead is attached to yours moreover you try to smile so that he doesn't know your pain he can feel you the two of you close your eyes as you hug each other silently unable to say anything baby you aren't alone here my mom and dina with you too when he said about them you broke the hug and looked at him when will your brother go back what makes you say that he looked at you confused as to why you asked this he doesn't see me as your wife i don't have a good opinion of him said he isn't the kind of person don't mind this as he is close to everyone i have seen him since childhood take care of the like him i will try to comfort you as soon as soon possible my vision should be strong not weak you nuts he is placing his face in the crook of your neck and brushing his nose and lips on your skin next day i am very happy with my husband and he is taking good care of me a few days passed and the stepmother tried to make strange fights between us but her efforts didn't get the results as she expected the teen had a straight up right close to me and fought me but i was always careful not to let him come near me i couldn't throw the real personalities because of them they are good actors who had done many dramas around my husband that day came when stepmom and dean were looking for the perfect time both of them made a master plan for they go to another country for work i don't know what their plan is then i made a big mistake that's what brought me to this tough situation on the phone hello i miss you while your eyes water at his words as a smile on your face said to him affectionately i miss you too you know i'm waiting for your arrival of course i know where do you want me to take you when i get there what about the beach super both of you talked and happily like this after a few seconds the conversation on the phone and that and you cut the call you turn around there was jean looking at you what are you looking at i think you are very attractive i don't want to hear anything from you get out of here how can i go without doing what i want he is gonna grab your shoulder to touch you then you pushed back against the wall then he screamed in pain as his head hit the wall What happened? Your son came into my room and misbehaved with me. She hissed at your anger in your eyes and sat in there. She slapped him without asking anything. You are confused for a second, not understanding what she meant. I am sorry to you on his behalf. Mom, shut up, Dean. She glared at him with her red eyes and he left from there. Please don't tell to this day. He has no sense at all. He did this knowing that I am his brother's wife. You are about to leave but his mother blocked your way and pushed you onto the bed and locked it. On the other side of the door, stepmom was about to go from there to hallway when her son came back. Where did you lock the door? She didn't listen to me, so I locked her. Open the door quickly. No way. Wait. Why didn't she ask me to open the door and why didn't she scream at because she has a phone so she definitely is going to call her husband seriously that's why i'm asking you to open the door her body was shaking and she was about to open the door you are calling your husband instead of crying begging your mother-in-law but he isn't picking up the call 
to still calling him on the phone and finally he picked up. But it's your sure bad time. Hello, Wayne. They, they had already opened the door and the stepmom forcefully pulled that phone from you. You couldn't scream as Dean covered your mouth tightly. Hello, Wayne. Are you there? You heard him. You couldn't open your mouth because Dean was so strong. You burst into tears. Ate, she isn't here. I called you from her phone. Huh? My phone isn't working. I called to know how you are. Sweating. I'm well. And you? I'm also fine. You are also trying to free yourself from his grief. You are crying that you need help from your husband. I forgot to tell Wayne something. Please give her phone. No, day. She went out. She may be late to return. What? Okay, okay. I will call you later. Okay, take care of. Dean, let her scream her heart out now. I wanna hear that voice of fear from her. He removed his hand from your mouth, but you held you tightly. Do you wanna die? Ugh, if you want anything, beg me. Beg? Remember that I wouldn't even dream of you begging. You. Aish. Closed her eyes. Dean. What, ma? I don't care what you do to her, but I want her to beg me. Smart. You go. I will take care of it. You are shocked she left with your phone from there. Sister-in-law. Not everyone get this opportunity. I won't hurt if you listen to us. He loosened his grip on you a little, wanting to have fun with you. Dean, if Ted knows what you want to do, he will kill you. Tears dried on your cheeks and you aren't afraid of him outside, but inside tears you are afraid of him. It's okay. By the way, I don't like you showing your attitude in front of me. Just see, I will. Then the maid came into the room and you got some courage and tried to run away but he pushed you onto the bed and he grabbed her hair and dragged her out of the room when she came to help you. Luckily you get a chance to run away from them as you were about to run but there you saw the stepmother also the room. You were scared of her but you don't want to surrender to them. As they said you had to be strong so you had to lock the door from inside so you protect yourself from there. When you close the door, she is shocked by it and she bangs on the door and screams loudly. Then you close your ears and eyes are doing your best to brave, not fear them. You cannot ask the us by hiding inside, screams from outside the room. The heck? We will catch you if you take at least one step out of your room to run. You sit on the floor motionless inside the room, unable to do anything. I don't have a phone. No, I don't even have the maid to help me. For now, I can be safe in this room for a while. After some time, they will surely break the door and catch me.